Before Dr Mills became Professor of Hebrew at Cambridge University, he taught in India. He wrote many books and became known as an Orientalist. In 1848, he became Regius Professor of Hebrew in Cambridge University with canonry at Ely Cathedral. These two figures on his tomb represent an Indian student and a Cambridge undergraduate. He died on Christmas Day in 1853 and is buried beneath the cathedral. Also buried here we have James Russell Woodford. Now James was a bishop from Ely from 1873 until his death in 1885. He was the founder of Ely Theological College which offered training for the priesthood. Woodford died unmarried at Ely on the 21st of October 1885. He was buried in Bishop Wren's Chapel on the south side of the Cathedral Choir on the 30th. The Archangel beside his head is thought to be the lead defender against evil in spiritual battles. The dragon at the feet of his statue is meant to represent that the deceased had a protector in the afterlife, whereas some believe they were placed there to prevent the deceased from coming back, thus protecting the living. Next up I wanted to show you Ely's unusual war memorial dedicated to those in World War II who sadly lost their lives. If anyone knows why this was done this way, please let me know in the comments because I can't find out anything about it. So on the floor of the cathedral we have a memorial to John of Whitspeech who carried on building the chapel of the cathedral for 28 years. Whilst digging the foundations for the chapel he found a bronze urn full of coins but he kept it a secret and hid the money under his bed. That way he made sure he had enough money for his chapel. John of Wisbeach died on the 16th of June 1349 and is rumoured to have died of the plague. Archaeologists were able to recover a few skeletons from some of the tombs, allowing them to construct an idea of the physical development of medieval people, the gender and age demographic of those laid to rest in the cathedral, as well as the kind of ailments and diseases they suffered from. So next up we have Bishop John Forden. Bishop Fordham was the keeper of the Privy Seal of Prince Richard from 1376 to 1377. He was then named Lord Privy Seal in June 1377. Now the Privy Seal is the fifth of the great officers of state in the United Kingdom. They are responsible for the organisation of government business in the House, providing assistance to all Lords and offering advice on procedures. Bishop Fordham died on the 19th of November 1425. Parishioners were rarely buried in cathedrals, but here we have a memorial to a parishioner who lived in Ely. So laying on the floor here we have the tomb slab of Bishop Nigel. Now he was the Lord Treasurer for King Henry I and King Henry II. Now he was the Bishop of Ely from 1133 till 1169. The picture shows St Michael carrying his soul in a napkin to heavenly Jerusalem. Sarcophagus were usually made out of stone and as you can see here they were moulded to fit the body. They were usually used for above ground burials and here we have the sarcophagus lid. The sarcophagus was usually placed on top or just below the earth with the lid still showing. Here is the tomb of William Kilkenny, who was Lord Chancellor of England and Bishop of Ely. 
William died in Spain where he had gone on a diplomatic mission for the king. His heart was sent here for burial in Ely Cathedral. The stone casts you see here are usually a replica of how they looked on their deathbeds. Now this is the tomb of William Selman. He was the clergyman, canon of Ely Cathedral, Lady Margaret's professor of divinity, an amateur astronomer. William established an observatory in the college at Ely. He died in 1875, aged 69, in consequence of a fall from his horse. Also buried here is Peter Gunning. Now Peter was an English royalist church leader, Bishop of Chichester and Bishop of Ely. In 1661 he became head of St John's College in Cambridge. Following his succession to Ely he set about tackling the issue of the former bishop's jail which had fallen into a state of disorder and disrepair. Prisoners had to be taken to Wisbeach so a jail was needed to maintain law and order in Ely. He died on the 6th of July, 1684. Here we have the tomb of the Tiptoft family. Lord Tiptoft was Lord of many manors in Cambridgeshire, a Member of Parliament and of the Privy Council of King Henry VII. His son, John Tiptoft, was an important person for the Yorkist cause during the War of the Roses. He became known as the Butcher of England. He was beheaded by the Lancasterians and buried at Blackfriars Church in London. And all of this took place in the 1400s. Next we visited the tomb of Sir Mark Stewart who died in 1603. Sir Mark was the last prior and the first Dean of Ely. His ancestor was Oliver Cromwell, who also lived in Ely. Here we see an effigy of Mark lying on his tomb. His family are of Scottish origins. In fact, Stuart means keeper of the pigsties. And the family actually came from Swatham in Norfolk. And we have another Robert Stewart. Now the way he's posed did make me laugh at the time. I thought that he thought that he was a bit of a catch. Now Robert was Mark's cousin and a monk at Ely. He became one of Henry VII's allies and helped in persuading the monasteries to surrender to the king. In November 1539 he surrendered the monastery at Ely to the king. He died on the 22nd of September 1557, 